Bit of a clickbait title, but if you follow these steps, you genuinely will get A plus or S tier on every map. With the 1.0 version of Radio Not releasing soon, I wanted to make a quick video to help new players make accurate and quick target identification decisions in Ready or Not. Quick disclaimer, I know that the enemy AI can sometimes turn John Wiki, making outcomes sometimes out of the player's control. In this video, we will assume the AI does not have superhuman reflexes and are instead normal-ish. So what is this decision-making process? As officers, we are taught to conduct what is known as a whole body, hands, waistline demeanor check during engagements with unknown threats. What does this mean? First off, understand we are not checking out the AI's level 9000 yet. We are conducting a systematic check for friend or foe identification. To start, we need to ensure that our rifle is not taking up the majority of our vision by placing it in either the low ready or slightly raised position. This is because when ADS, the rails and optics can obscure important information about the target we are engaging, which is no bueno. Whole body means that you are seeing their entire person. What type of clothing they're wearing? Do they have a mask on? Are they wearing a uniform? Do they have a chain badge? Do they have a bomb or what appears to be a bomb? Do they have a police insignia or an IR beacon? Etc. Etc. Next, we move on to their hands. What do they have in their hands? Do they have a knife, a gun, a cell phone? If they do have a gun, do they have a badge in their other hand? Are they pointing the gun at us? If we see their whole body and their hands are clear, or if you still don't have enough information, look at their waistline and identify if they have a weapon or a badge. If you still cannot make a determination based upon the information seen, watch their demeanor. Are they yelling blue, 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 signifying they are friendly? Are they screaming at you and telling you to take a high dive off a short pier? Are they generally angry and incoherent? Are they non-compliant to verbal commands? Let's take this for example. Drop the weapon now! Drop it now! Drop your weapon! Drop the weapon now! Drop it now! Drop your weapon! Drop the weapon now! Drop it now! Drop your weapon! We can see that the suspect is verbally non-compliant and then begins yelling slurs at us. In the police world, we call this a clue. In this instance, I see someone with body armor come into my field of view. I do a quick whole body hands demeanor check and decide that yes, in fact, this man wants to kill me. Some of you will notice that I skipped over waistline. Because I was ADS'd on him, I was unable to check his waistline for a badge, but at this point, I've announced myself as an officer several times, and if this is a fellow officer, well, he's just asking for it at this point. In this last example, we have an individual not complying to verbal commands and instead moves under the bed. This is dangerous as we can't really see what he's doing underneath there. We successfully order him out and get him to comply. Upon entry, he once again becomes non-compliant. A taser is used to attempt compliance. While doing so, he is faced away. We are unable to see his hands or waistline. IRL, this is the time you go hands-on or else this happens. I'll get you, bitch. By conducting the whole body, hands, waistline demeanor check, you will become more effective and methodical with your target identification. Again, none of this is perfect, and sometimes you won't have the luxury of doing a full check, and instead you'll be reacting to gunfire that's coming straight at you. So what do y'all think? Seems like something you'll implement in your clearing protocols? Let me know down below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing, stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.